I have now I've come to I've come to the conclusion that the use of bus lanes and being able to undertake cars effectively and then go in front of them at the end of said bus lane um, is payback for cars cutting motorcyclists up all the time. So hey guys, right safe and always piss them off. Ah, lights, lights, killed by the lights. Could you not stop before the line, mate? God damn, one of those days, one of those days. Come on, it's a bus, go round it. Oh, you can't, you're in a car. It's <laughs> one way of not getting a speed in again, eh? Oh God, it's, it's pedestrian bowling. Certainly had one of those epic fail moments this morning. Just thought last thing I'll do before I get set off is uh, check the oil on the bike, make sure it's all okay. But hey, what sort of a fool checks the bike while it's on the side step? Me! Just had a right panic on, thought shit. My oil is empty, when it wasn't. Um, it needed a slight top up, if that. Um, and yeah, needless to say, always fun to, uh, just before I ride out, realize that you've then got to take a liter of oil back out of the fucking bike. Oh, one impression myself. 
oil everywhere, new house, new drive, so I've had to clean all the drive off, and then perfectly honestly, that started at about 10 past nine, so to uh, be here five or six miles later, to do it, to do it. Yeah, five or six miles later. So I started at ten past nine um, with a bit of a top up of oil, slight panic, um, checked the oil level, then realised what I'd done. So I pulled the bike up straight, realised that uh, the bike was well overfilled, um, and then had to drop the drain plug out. Uh, drain a couple of uh, get a couple of small containers, drain some oil out, recheck all my levels to make sure they're right, and then get all my gear on after washing up and stuff and washing the drive. Oh Jesus Christ! So, where will I find the calm biker? Oh. <laughs>